What's up out there, everybody? I hope all's going well for you in your worlds. I want to thank you guys, as always, for stopping by the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If this is your first time here, I want to welcome you to the Silver Screen Analysis. I'm Anthony DeJoya. This is yet another channel all about movies, and as you can tell from the title, today we're going to dive into Terminator Dark Fate, directed by Tim Miller and probably James Cameron to an extent. Uh, this one brings Linda Hamilton back into the mix as Sarah Connor. Arnold is back as well with Mackenzie Davis. Natalia Reyes and Gabriel Luna as the newbies. This entry in the franchise completely retcons all the events after Terminator 2 Judgment Day. It abandons the three sequels and tells a fresh new story. You have a young girl named Danny living in Mexico City. Her life is turned upside down when an enhanced super soldier is sent back to protect her from a new Terminator that has been sent back to kill her. Wait a second, I gotta have the wrong notes. Okay, I guess I don't. Apparently, Danny and her super soldier bodyguard end up running a across Sarah Connor, they team up, they end up running across Arnold, and together they end up running from a cutting-edge Terminator that despite a fancy new style is pretty much the same as Robert Patrick's T-1000 and Kristana Loken's TX. Meaning that while the prior sequels may have been erased, the structure of the story certainly was not, and that was my main issue with this movie. I, without a doubt, I did have a good time watching. I felt the action and the characters were all very enjoyable, but the story was week with the usual events filling the narrative and much of the new storytelling being done through exposition. It does though uh, start out really quick. The action and the intensity hits real fast but with a less than compelling narrative it just kind of felt like empty calories and not much different than the movies it aimed to erase through this trendy new retcon gimmick. The storyline is essentially the same as all the past movies with all the same tropes and that's something that was honestly surprising to me. I just, I don't know, naturally assumed that if you're coming out with a movie that's promising to be a direct sequel to T2, one that's going to negate Rise of the Machines, Salvation, and Genesis, that something from outside the box would end up being delivered. And this was a fun story that had enough action and charm from the cast to be entertaining. However, it was far from inspired or ambitious on any other level than the visual appeal, not something that you would expect from a team of six writers. And I can only imagine what that think tank must have been like as they basically cut and pasted sections of the Terminator box set into this new film. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to talk shit about this movie, I'm just kind of notating the arrogance behind the production of it because, like I said, it was engaging throughout. I thought there was enough character development to invest in. I also thought that uh, Davis and Reyes were two solid leads despite having some clunky dialogue in places. I also felt that uh, Davis was fantastic in the action sequences with an effort in the stunt work that really translated nicely on screen for the action sequences. I thought Luna, despite being a car copy of other past villains in the franchise was certainly able to make the most out of the material. He also served nicely in the action and was able to land solid intensity through his facial expressions. It was nostalgic and awesome to see Linda Hamilton back as Sarah Connor as well and I felt she added a lot to the movie. There were changes in the character that were, in my opinion, interesting to see play out after knowing the events of Judgment Day. She's basically uh, saved the world but she's still battling a lot of internal conflicts so many years later and that was mildly fascinating fascinating to me. I thought um, Arnold was a nice addition as well, but to be honest, I think the nostalgia kind of faded while watching this movie. I mean, he serves up some climactic action and a couple of comical lines to bring some levity to the story, but it just uh, felt like his role in this franchise was a bit played out with yet another familiar story arc. I've been able to find enjoyment in all the Terminator movies, some for great filmmaking, others for just simple, entertaining, mindless action adventures, and I gotta say, this film kind of falls in the middle of them. It does use a lot of familiar tropes in the franchise, but I will admit that it manages to string them together a lot better than the past movies have. It also uh, was a rehash of many other story angles, but it was a complete film that incorporates a large collection of action set pieces to really keep things moving along nicely. Some were uh, very large in scope and delivered some intense visuals, others built suspense and had me up in my seat, and some simply just got the adrenaline pumping with just good old fighting and gunplay. It's all sprinkled with some dry humor between the characters that for the most part was nicely timed. It gets a little bit melodramatic, but I think it's to be expected in these climactic finales these days. The movie uh, certainly does have some impressive visuals, and there's some moments where it's a little bit hard to see things due to some nighttime settings, yet in the end, I gotta say that many more scenes were appealing than the few that were um, over-edited and too dimly lit. There's also some small bits of fun, subtle nostalgia worked in here and there, and just 
despite the quick exposition throughout the movie, I felt there was actually some interesting bits of information delivered to kind of fill in what happened after the events of T2. I just wished I would have been able to see them play out on screen and not just heard them referred to. So overall, while this movie may not have been the different story I was hoping for, it was still a relatively entertaining one. And I'm going to give Terminator Dark Fate 75% on the entertainment meter. The cast worked for me. The action did as well. It was a great time on the big screen, just not that film that delivers a level of quality that's suitable for being able to negate other films and all those who worked on them. Now for today's My Silver Screen recommendations, I have three movies that all center around robots or humans and humans that may look like robots. First up is Ex Machina starring Alicia Vikander. Next up is Short Circuit, one of my all time favorites from 1986. And finally a movie that I really enjoy from 2009 starring Bruce Willis called Surrogates. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I'd love to talk movies with you guys. Share it with your friends. And without question, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can never miss a video. Here are some links to some recent reviews just in case you missed them. All my social media links and the link to our official website are down in the description below. And I'll catch you next time.